I showed you how to uh, and gave you the script for creating a very simple video market update. Um, just just going over uh, you know a, a market a real estate market update for your area and how to take that and leverage it on Facebook. I promised you that I would show you how that we would leverage it in other ways as well, specifically uh, YouTube, um, even Google ads, a blog post, et cetera. And uh, so I'm gonna unpack all of that right now on this one as well. So let me know if you're excited for that. Click the like button below, let me know in the comments. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and dig in, let me share my screen. All right, so we're gonna bring up the old YouTubes, okay? Uh, by the way, if you didn't watch yesterday's, um, it probably makes sense to watch that one first. Go, um, go on my page, uh, you can probably click on videos and check out real estate market video uh, uh, marketing plan or something like that. And uh, I'll show you kind of step one of that process, how I created the video, how I edited the video, <clears throat> um, and even um, the script of the video. Actually, the script you can find on our blog because I transcribed all of that and put it up there. So here's what we're gonna do. We have the raw video file. We're gonna upload it to YouTube and we're gonna do some very, very simple optimization. Very, very simple optimization. So I'm gonna click upload video up here at the top right. And uh, I've got to find the right video. Let's see here, that's the right video. So we're gonna call this Hamden Township Real Estate Market Update 4919, okay? Now, there's a chicken and the egg thing here. Ideally, you wanna put a link in your description. And I can, and what I will do for the time being is put a link to the market update URL that I used in the video. However, one of the things I'd like to do with this video is turn it into a blog post and embed the video and so forth. So ultimately, I wanna point this at the blog post and you'll see why when we do that, and I'll actually walk through that process with you here live as well. I'm gonna put this here, and then I'm gonna throw in, um, I'm gonna put, for when I, when I paste this here, I'm gonna put Enola PA 17025 Mechanicsburg PA 17050. And the reason being, <clears throat> my target area is a little odd. Hampton Township is actually parts of two different zip codes and parts of two different cities or towns. And so, um, for example, what I mean is Hampton Township, like where I live in Hampton Township is Enola, but not all of Enola is Hampton Township. And then there are other parts of Hampton Township that are Mechanicsburg, but not all of Hampton Township is in Mechanicsburg. So I'm including those in there just as other search terms that might come up. And there's probably some other search terms that I ought to use, but for now, uh, I'm just going to do that. And uh, I'm just going to put uh, Hampton Township Real Estate. Uh, we'll go Hampton Township Homes for Sale. Hampton Township Houses for Sale. Hampton uh, Township uh, Real Estate Market Update. Enola, PA, Real Estate. Enola. PA uh, homes for sale, 17025 homes for sale. You get the idea here, 17025 uh, real estate. I'm just putting these as tags, which can help it get found a little bit more easily. And um, Berg homes for sale, uh, Mechanicsburg. Houses for sale. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to leave this set to public and we're going to publish it. And it'll take a minute. Actually, it won't even take a minute. Here it is. It's all, it's live and up on YouTube. Now, there are several things that I can do with this video to help with syndication. And I'm going to walk you through each of those here. Number one is I can actually run a video ad on uh, Google Ads to drive people to this. And in this case, in my case, I'm gonna do it as a retargeting ad. 
what I'm gonna do is take the people that have already engaged, that they've, uh, they've visited my website or they've engaged with other videos like this one, and I'm gonna show it to them. And uh, for very uh, minimal cost, I can brand myself and retarget myself as the local expert. And uh, for those of you interested in this kind of stuff, you wanna dive deeper on this kind of stuff, I'm actually doing a four week live boot camp starting next week called Retargeting Riches. And I'll show you this among a number of other strategies and the big picture formula for creating a celebrity authority type of presence, a, a, a presence such that virtually 100% of your local to target market, virtually 100% of people that are interested in your target area in real estate will know, like, and trust you recognize your real estate brand and know that you can help them as a real estate professional. Uh, it's gonna be killer. I'm really excited for that. And um, I'll put a link for how you can get access to that in the comments after the fact um, as well. So anyway, back to this. So that's one way we can run a, a, a video ad. Another thing we can do with this uh, video to syndicate it, so uh, quote unquote, is to create a blog post and embed the video in that. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. Uh, another thing that we can do is, um, is we can create a playlist for these updates. And then every time we create a new one, we're going to add it to the playlist. So I'm going to do that with you right here. And now I might fumble a little bit because I haven't done this a ton. But what we're going to do is uh, we're on the video itself. And one thing I do recommend that will help with syndication is as soon as the video is uploaded, watch the whole video and actually like the video. And if you have other channels that might be relevant or um, uh, you know, uh, uh, like kind of related, you can switch to your other channel, watch the video and like that as well. It's a little hack that you can do. But let's, let's create a playlist around this, this Hamden Township market update idea. So right here, if you notice, next to the share is like a three lines and a plus button. I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna create a new playlist and I'm going to call this Hampton Township PA Real Estate Market Updates. Okay. And inter interestingly enough, I have more characters here. So uh, available to me, you, can, you have up to 150 characters. I'm going to add those other, um, I'm going to add the other towns and zip codes. Um, properties, um, properties and homes for sale. Okay. I'm really kind of keyword stuffing that, and I'm going to leave this set to public and I'm going to go ahead and create that playlist. Now, what I want to do, I have created one or two other videos that might be relevant to this playlist currently. I'm gonna go and add those. And then every time I create a new market update, which I'm gonna do every Tuesday, I think, it'll either be Monday or Tuesday. I haven't kind of settled in on that. But every time I create a new one, I'm gonna add it to that playlist. But let's go and see if we can, um, can go back in and add any that might be relevant to the playlist as well currently. And this is where I thought I might fumble a little bit because I haven't done this a ton. Um, and it's taking a minute to load here. Bear with me. Why aren't you loading? There we go. Um, where are playlists? Let, let's just see if this works. Um, I'm going to add, I'm going to select this one. Yeah, I can. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to select that one. And I guess maybe that's the only other one. Nah, I'm going to select. I'll select those two. They're not as congruent, but I just want to get some videos in there. Um, because what will happen is, so sorry, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I select those videos that I want to add. I want to, I'm going to click on add to playlist. I'm going to choose the playlist that we just created and select save. Now I've got four videos in that playlist. Okay. Now, if you're just doing this for the first time, it's fine. You can just have one in there. And then as you create new ones, you want to add those to the playlist. And if you create other types of videos, 
um, like videos about a new listing or uh, video uh, property tours. You wanna create playlists for each of those. And then you might even create a playlist that is just general for all of your uh, videos related to your market target area. So I might create one that just is Hamden Township PA real estate. And I'll put anything that's related to that in there, okay? But I'm getting, you know, getting a little ahead of myself. So that's the first part. Um, the next thing I, I wanna walk through is I'm gonna create a blog post for this, uh, for this market update. And I'm gonna use KV Core to create my blog post. That's, that's um, the, the website platform that I'm using. It's included with eXp Realty, which is um, the, the broker that I reactivated my license under. Um, most of you are going to have access to some kind of blogging platform. So it may not look exactly the same how to do it, but here are the components that uh, you can see the components that I'm going to include there and why I'm making a, a blog post specific for the market update, even though I have that market update page, right? So uh, in KB Core under quick actions, I'm going to click blog post. And I'm going to click add post. And I'm going to call this the, the same thing, Hamden Township Real Estate Market Update 4919. Now, to put the video on here, to embed it on here, I've got to go back to the video, click on share, click on share, and then I'm going to click on this embed button. And I'm going to copy that. And... Um, just make sure that none of these other things are toggled on or off. Like I would definitely leave show player controls toggled on. I don't want to enable this and I don't want to start it at anything funny. I'm just going to do kind of the default there, but sometimes the default is different. Okay. In KB core to embed the video, I got to click on this source code button. So I'll click on that. And you know what this, this can get buggy. So, for whatever reason, almost every time in KV Core, and you might find this as well, um, I go to create something. The first time I open up different boxes, I can't paste anything in there. I don't know why, but if I close it out and put it back in, then it works. Who knows? I'm gonna paste in the title of the video, of the market update video. And I'm actually gonna link back to the, um, to the video itself, okay? This linking can help with SEO and can help just like people kind of interweaving together, all right? Um, uh, above, please find. Your Hampton Township Real Estate Market Update for the week of April 9th, 2019. To check out the update in the video, go uh, click here. I'm going to edit all of this in a minute. Um, if you'd like to see a list of all the Hampton Township homes that have sold in the last week, you can click here. Lastly, whenever you're ready, here are three free services we can offer you if you're thinking about selling. Okay. Now, uh, let's go ahead and edit this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy most of what I did here and remove the bold, okay? That's step one. Step two, I need to bring up this URL. 
okay, which was the update that I actually showed, the market update that I actually showed um, in the video. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hyperlink that here. Now, this offer here, if you'd like to see a list of all the Hamden Township homes that have sold in the last week, um, you can click here. Um, to do that, I can't do that with my KV Core site because my MLS doesn't display the just sold properties on uh, for the for whatever reason in the IDX feed. Yours might. However, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go into my MLS. I'm going to create the point or the report, and then I'm just going to link to it there. So let me get rid of this here. Let me log into my MLS. Our MLS is bright. Please let me know if you're watching this live and, and you like this kind of stuff, please let me know by liking and commenting. Um, you know, if, if this is the kind of stuff that you'd like me to do more of, I'd be happy to, um, but I wanna make sure it's, it's the kind of uh, stuff that you're looking for. Closed, and I'm just going to go last seven days. And uh, oh, interesting. I only got three matches in the last seven days. I would have thought it was more. Oh, doesn't even matter if I go eight. Well, whatever. Uh, we'll show the results. I'm going to change this from agent one line to client gallery. I'm going to select all. And I'm going to choose to email because I want an actual link. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to email it to myself. And it doesn't really matter what I test. It doesn't matter. I just need to get that URL. Okay. Now I need to find it in my email. And I can see on my phone that it already got there so that's good i just need gotta go grab it we'll open here all right so i'm gonna click on this we'll click on the url and close back out of this and this just because i think it's bogging things down I'm going to copy the URL. Why is it one total listing? Maybe I shouldn't have gotten out of bright. I must have done something wrong. Okay, well, back to it we go. Let's go back here. Maybe I didn't select all. Maybe I only selected the first one. So let's go back here. We'll go back here. Area, hand in. Remove, remove, results, select all, gallery, still all of them selected, email, and open Gmail back up. Hopefully we did it right this time. There we go, there's all three. That's what I must have just accidentally only selected one. I'm gonna click on, you can click here. And then actually I'm gonna bold this and I'm gonna bold this. All right, now these three, uh, the, this kind of offer here, these three free services, um, I'm going to pull up, close out of this stuff. Um, I'm going to pull up in my KB core because I kind of have it in my, um, in kind of a signature 
file area in a lot of my follow-up emails. And there are three free service offers that I got from none other than the one and only Dean Jackson. So credit where credit is due. Um, but uh, you don't have to be able to make these exact offers, right? Th th these are spark some ideas for you, hopefully. Um, and you can, you can certainly model them. Um, but you don't have to have these exact offers. I'm just going to copy them from here and paste them in here. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do with this post. Well, that's not all I'm going to do with it. After I create it, what I'm going to do, now I've published it, what I'm going to do is then share it on my Facebook page, okay? And I'll probably, uh, I might share it to my personal profile. I might also share it to groups like I showed yesterday. But in this case, instead of being direct to the video, what is happening is that people will go to the blog post on my site, okay? Unfortunately, there is a lag from the time that you hit publish to the time that uh, new blog posts show up with KV Core. So I'm not gonna be able to do that here because this is, um, this is an older post and it hasn't it hasn't updated to the um, to the latest, and and I've I've seen that it takes sometimes up to an hour and even longer. Um, but maybe I'll show that if you're interested. Let me know in the comments if you're interested. Once that does go live, maybe we'll show that as well. Okay, we're going on a while here. Let me check in on the comments to see if uh, um, see what we've got here. Do you want me, would you like me to show you how I would create the, the video retargeting ad campaign? And if we've gotten any engagement here, maybe that'll be an indication as to whether we should keep going with that. Um, well, we haven't. Well, I'll tell you what. I said we would, so we would, we will. So I'm gonna close out of these things and I'm gonna to go to ads.google.com. And this will be the last thing that we do in this particular video training. I'm gonna to go to ads.google.com. And what we're gonna do, as I mentioned, but just to confirm, we're gonna take this video and we're going to retarget. We're gonna show this video, this real estate market update video to anyone who has visited my website in the last, it's, it's either 30 or 60 or 90 days, I'm not even sure. Um, and um, I'm running some other similar campaigns where, I'm, where we're getting, so for example, uh, this, this retargeting video, I got 29 people to view the video, 29 impressions, 29 people who had already visited my website who are, are seeing my face hearing my name, hearing my brand, um, getting to know me uh, for 29 people for a dollar and 24 cents. Now, if that's not bananas, I just don't know what is, right? So we're gonna build out a similar campaign to that. So we'll go to campaigns. Actually, it's got video campaigns. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. Campaigns plus sign, new campaign. And we're going to choose um, create a campaign without a goals guidance because we're going to choose video. Okay. So again, we went to campaigns, we hit the plus sign, new campaign, and we're going to choose create a campaign without a goals guidance. And we're going to choose video and we're going to choose custom video campaign and hit continue. Again, you know, I've said this a couple of times, but if this, if this kind of stuff is making sense to you and it's resonating with you, but you're, you know, you're just, um, you know, it's overwhelming or confusing then, but, but you understand the opportunity that is available, the opportunity that, that was, uh, so, um, so big in my, in my opinion, and, and so uh, amazing, um, caused me to reactivate my, my, uh, my license so I could take advantage of it. Then you definitely want to check out our retargeting riches four week live bootcamp. Um, it is free for our pro members. 
uh, free for our pro members. So if you're already a pro member, you'll be getting access to it. And if you'd like to get access, um, all you have to do is get signed up for pro and we're doing, we're running a special this week. I'll put a link in the comments after I wrap up. Um, or you should be able to go to retargetingriches.com, retargetingriches.com and get it there. All right. So uh, I'm going to say Hampton Township Market Update Video 4919. Today's the 10th, but I shot it. Uh, we're going to do daily for a dollar, one dollar a day. That's it. Uh, I'm going to set an end date on this because I'm going to, I'm going to commit to shooting a new one next week. So I'm going to have the end date be uh, uh, next Monday. Okay. So to run for today, next Monday, that's a total of $6 because it's six days, $6. I'm going to do maximum CPV. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave this. I'm, I'm literally going to do virtually nothing with this. Um, I'm going to call this ad group one. Um, doesn't even really matter. Demographics. Now here's where we um, can kind of drill this down. And what I'm going to do, so see this here, this audience of 620 people, th this is the 620 people that have landed on my website and been pixeled or cookied to this list over the last, I believe it's 30 days. So I'm going to select both of those options. I'm going to select both of those, both of those options. I can also uh, uh, mess with the demographics and, uh, and play around with that as well. I'm going to remove 18 to 24 in this case, uh, just because I'm literally going to know, do none of, none of, nothing else here, um, uh, for maximum cost per view, I'm going to say 10 cents. So uh, what I'm saying is I don't want to pay any more than 10 cents for someone to view my video. Okay. Um, which is super cheap. And now the last step in this process we gotta. Uh, we have to get the video URL. And I'm gonna choose as an in-stream ad. And I will call them back to the market update. So if, if someone clicks on the video, uh, I'm sorry, if someone clicks on the, the buttons associated with the, um, the video, then they're going to be sent to that market update page. That was the, you know, the page that I was on when I was shot the original video. You can add a call to action. In this case, I'm not going to. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say, click here. Uh, I'm gonna say, Hampton Market. Can't even put that. Uh, check it out. Where's that gonna go? Yeah, so it just says check it out. Click here. Okay. Now we don't. That's not necessary. But um, you know, I, I could just as easily just leave that off. It is optional. But we started to play around with it, so I thought I'd show you. And then um, uh, I'm not gonna do anything with this. Add name. Video 4919. Save and continue and voila, that's it. Congratulations, your campaign is ready. Now, it may take uh, anywhere from a couple hours to a full day for it to start showing. And ideally, I would have done all of this yesterday. Um, I just had a lot on my plate. Um, and uh, between you know creating that other video, et cetera, and, and kind of getting my processes dialed in. Plus, it always takes me a little longer when I'm actually recording because I'm trying to talk through the process instead of just racing through it, not racing through it, but running through it. So anyway, if all of this is, uh, you know, is interesting to you and you can see the value in it and you can, um, you, you understand the opportunity here in the ability to literally have virtually 100% of your target area the, uh, virtually 100% of those people who are thinking about buying or selling real estate, for you to be able to, to have them know, like, and trust you, to be able to build a rapport and relationship with them um, such that they know your real estate brand, they know that you're a real estate professional that can help them, and that when their motivation hit, hits a tipping point, they're just going to call you, they're just going to text you, they're just going to send you a message, they're going to email you, whatever the case may be. This is the kind of stuff that I'm going to be walking you through and showing you exactly what I'm doing 
in my practice locally here and how you can model that as well with this four week boot camp. And uh, you can check it out, retargetingriches.com. I'll put the link in the comments. And if you like this kind of stuff, let me know. Click the like button, comment, and let me know. I'd be happy to create more of these kind of live uh, training uh, videos for you all. And uh, I appreciate you checking this out and hope to talk with you again real soon.